mind that I am the woman that God has showed mercy. The story started in 2020 when I discovered that I had two ovarian cysts and I had to have surgery for that. I was diagnosed with stage 3 endometriosis. Fast so this is going to be a lengthy video. I hope you sit back and enjoy it and trust me you're going to learn a thing or two from it. So now let me give you the backstory for those of you who do not know who Zena Balogun is. She's actually an actress. She played the role of the wedding planner in The Wedding Party Part 1. She has also acted in several other movies like God's Calling, Royal Habiscus, and a whole lot of other movies. So let me get into the main gist. So last, in 2020, Zainab was diagnosed with endometriosis. And uh, as at, uh, the first time she talked about it publicly was in March 2022. So let's read this post she made, the first post she made about it in March 2022. So let's read along. This time last year, I was reminded that it was endometriosis awareness month. After a year, I wasn't ready to share. Stage 4 endometriosis, they said. I took this picture after I noticed I was losing my hair as a result of treatment. It took a lot not to burst into tears because I love my hair. To see badges of it in my hands stunk. It still does, but we are going to get it back. I was really happy to finally have an accurate diagnosis. I was really happy to finally have an accurate diagnosis because it meant I finally knew the root of 20-something years of extru excruciating pain. I likened the pain to someone taking the barbed wire to your insides and twisting it continuously for days on end. It's not mere period cramps, aches, or discomforts. It's vicious pain. Endometriosis affects 1 in 10 women. It's an unseen chronic condition that is often misdiagnosed. It doesn't get enough attention or research. Endometriosis is when tissue, line, tissue lining the uterus grows outside of it. Endolescents can form everywhere from the lungs, intestines, ovaries, fallopian tubes, and more. There is no cure for endometriosis, but medical intervention allows women to live somewhat of a normal life by managing symptoms. So this post is about encouraging women to seek answers for the little and big pains they feel. Is it a missed period, fibroids, heavy cycles, naval bleeding, hormonal imbalance, fertility issues, whatever it is, you can't be afraid to pursue it for a healthier life. Don't dismiss your pain, ladies, and get a gynecologist that cares. Pick one. After tough morning, trashing bundles of my hair, I was finally able to smile. Pick two. Incision sight from the from the laparoscopic surgery and the next clip is uh, according to her p3 i was coming off my first solatex implant treatment i was tired anxious and used to lose slash mispronounce my words i could see the word in my head but the fog took forever clear and so did the words january 21st um 2021 officially three months anniversary of my surgery uh, and um, I'm here again at the advanced videoscopic laparoscopic surgery center here in Lekki to see um, Dr. Ojoku my surgeon and doctor to get my second dose of my implant injection my Zodelex injection um, and so what this implant does is that for another three months it is going to help regulate my hormones um, and serve as an estrogen blocker um, and in, in doing that that means for the next three months again I am going to be my body is going to be in a state of menopause so I'm going to be experiencing some menopausal symptoms so in this clip Getting my second dose of Zodelex implant treatment, which gradually dissolved in my body and left me without a cycle for a year. The implant had many difficult side effects, but it was worth it. 
okay so you see that she actually had this implants and she didn't see her menstrual cycle right for okay. a year that she didn't see her period for a whole year and yesterday being the 13th of september 2022 zena balogun gave a testimony of how she miraculously got cured of stage 4 endometriosis so listen to her testimony Good morning, I am doing this testimony video from Lagos, Nigeria. I have wanted to say these eight words for a very long time, that I am the woman that God has showed mercy. The story started in 2020 when I discovered that I had two ovarian cysts and I had to have surgery for that. I was diagnosed with stage three endometriosis. Fast forward to 2022, these cysts reoccurred. Um, the left cyst on my, on my left ovary actually came back, you know, stronger, quote unquote, stronger than before. So I was told that I would have to have surgery to remove the left ovary and the left cyst in order to protect the right one so that I could go ahead and I could do egg freezing and I was saying God by April I don't want to see these cysts in my body I want something new something different so April scans came and uh, the cyst had reduced in size and I said God I receive it I'm grateful however this healing is not complete surgery was scheduled for the 4th of July on the 1st of July I went to uh, do my pre-surgery scans and before I went you know I said to God that I want this scan to be different and I felt it in my spirit that the Holy Spirit was telling me tomorrow you will know so as I went for this scan the radiologist says to me that he can see the left cyst however the right one has reabsorbed so I said you know what's the difference in size and he says I can't see it it's not there anymore so I called my surgeon mind you this was two days before I was supposed to have surgery I called him and I told him that I'm not coming I kept on praying because I was like God what do you have done on the right you must complete on the left um, I went to see another doctor who now told me that I have a blocked fallopian tube. Beginning of September, I went to do an MRI scan had, as recommended by this doctor. It says to me that, you know, this is treatable. These are the options that you have for this. So I said, okay, well, when it's time for me to do the egg freezing, um, they're going to inject me with hormones. So how is this going to affect the left cyst that is still there? So he now tells me that there is no cyst. I said, what do you mean? He says, thank God you didn't have the surgery, but there's no cyst in your body. This is March's report. This is April. This is May. This is June. These are four different reports that show that I have two cysts in my body. These reports were done by two people, two different people. And this is my evidence. This is my September evidence that says that there is no cyst in my body. I've wanted to be the woman that sits here, that testifies. And I said to God, if you give me my miracle, if you give me my testimony, I will sit and I will testify that truly what God cannot do does not exist. So tell me, hope you learned a lot from this. Truly, there is nothing God cannot do. I pray her testimony remains permanent. Amen.